Imagine standing at a crossroads looking at four distinct paths, each one marked with a different sign. Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Subuntu, and Lubuntu. Each path leads to a different Linux experience, each with unique pros, cons, and a unique feel. But how do you know which one's right for you? Today we're diving deep into the asterisk Buntu family to compare these popular Linux distributions. From features to performance, we'll find out which path may lead you to your ideal Linux setup. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on ByteGuardian. Let's start with the flagship, Ubuntu. Imagine it as a bustling city center filled with everything you need, from cafes to libraries to tech hubs. Ubuntu is known for being versatile, feature-rich, and user-friendly, ideal for both newcomers and experienced users. Ubuntu uses the GNOME desktop environment, which combines a sleek look similar to Macos with an app grid that feels a bit like a smartphone's home screen. For example, you can easily access thousands of apps through the Ubuntu Software Center, including popular options like Firefox, VLC, and GIMP for photo editing. But here's the trade-off. All these features come at a cost. Ubuntu needs a bit of horsepower, at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a solid processor. Newer laptops and desktops will handle it smoothly, but on older machines, you may notice some lag, similar to a busy city during rush hour. Segment 2, Kubuntu, the power user's dream. Next, imagine an art studio filled with endless supplies ready for creative customization. This is Kubuntu. It's the version of Ubuntu that caters to power users and tinkerers who want control over every detail of their desktop. Kubuntu runs the KDE Plasma desktop, which is highly customizable. It offers a Windows-like experience, but with options to adjust themes, layouts, and icons to suit your style. With KDE Discover, you can quickly browse and install apps, and the Plasma desktop includes advanced tools like file indexing for faster searches. You can even add widgets for things like weather updates or task management. Kubuntu isn't as resource-heavy as Ubuntu, but still needs around 4 gigabytes of RAM for a smooth ride. KDE Plasma is known for being efficient, and if you disable a few visual effects, it can even run well on less powerful systems. Now think of a reliable pickup truck, simple, efficient, and capable of handling most jobs. That's Ubuntu. It's lighter than Ubuntu, but still fully functional, focusing on performance and simplicity. Subuntu uses XFCE, a traditional desktop environment with a familiar layout similar to older versions of Windows. It's fast and reliable without heavy animations, making it perfect for everyday tasks. If you have an older laptop or need a secondary machine, Subuntu provides all the essentials, file management, a taskbar, and customizable panels without putting a strain on your CPU and RAM. Subuntu's system requirements are lower than Ubuntu and Kubuntu, typically running well on just 2 gigabytes of RAM. While it might not include as many default apps, you can easily access Ubuntu's vast repositories to add anything you need. Lastly, imagine a compact, fuel-efficient car that'll get you from point A to point B with minimal fuss. This is Lubuntu. It's designed for minimalism and efficiency, perfect for old hardware or low-powered devices. Lubuntu's LXQT desktop environment is all about speed and simplicity. Imagine an older laptop that struggles to keep up with newer operating systems. Lubuntu lets you breathe new life into it. LXQT skips the heavy animation, so it's blazingly fast even on hardware that's over a decade old. Lubuntu can run on as little as 1 gigabyte of RAM, though 2 gigabytes is recommended for multitasking. If you need a setup that's super fast without many bells and whistles, Lubuntu is ideal for basic tasks like web browsing, document editing, and multimedia playback. Just remember that it's a minimalist system, so it won't come with all the software options that Ubuntu has. To recap, Ubuntu is like a bustling city full of resources and community support, great for newcomers. Kubuntu is the art studio offering endless customization and a user-friendly KDE interface, perfect for power users. Subuntu is the reliable pickup truck, balancing performance and functionality without draining resources. Lubuntu is the compact car built for speed and efficiency on older machines or minimalist setups. The best choice ultimately depends on your needs and hardware. Each asterisk Buntu has something unique to offer. 
whether it's Ubuntu's rich environment, Kubuntu's customizability, Ubuntu's performance, or Lubuntu's speed. Thanks for exploring the world of Linux with Byte Guardian. If this guide helped you find the right path, please give it a thumbs up, comment on which asterisk Ubuntu you're excited to try, and subscribe to Byte Guardian for more tech insights. Until next time, keep exploring and stay secure.